So this is what Bonnie and Clyde would be like if they had social media. Hey everyone, this is Ravnius Blog and welcome to my in theater movie review series. So today's movie I'll be reviewing today is the new Hulu film, Infamous. And before I get into my thoughts about this film, here are a few words from the channel. Hey guys, if you want to check out more content from this channel, then tune in every Sunday and Monday for new videos. And if you happen to see any videos posted up during the week, that means that there was a bit of movie and TV news that I wanted to talk about, so those will be considered special videos. And if you want to chat with me on social media or see when new videos are being released, then follow me through Twitter and Facebook. And also, please feel free to join the new Facebook group, Rabbitius Blocks Reviews 2.0, where we talk about movies, TV shows, and video games with other fans of the genres. And now, we return to our regularly scheduled program. So the film starts off with a teenage girl named Ariel, who is actually unhappy with her life and she wishes to leave her hometown. One day, however, she meets a young boy named Dean and the two of them ended up falling in love with each other. But one tragic night, Dean accidentally kills his father, and because of this, Ariel and Dean decide to go on the run, and it was then that they decided to rob all these banks across the country while filming themselves on social media in doing so. So what are my thoughts about this movie? I actually found this movie to be really interesting. I like the fact that this movie actually addresses the problem about how some people would do anything to become famous, even if that means performing criminal activities just to become famous. Like in the case of this movie, you have Ariel who wants to become famous, and in order to do so, she decides she's going to go across the country to rob banks and rob stores while filming herself on her social media account. And the film actually shows just how bad of a decision that could be with showing how Ariel and Dean are trying to go on the run from the law, but then they're having trouble trying to escape from the law at the same time because they posted themselves on social media so the cops would know where they are and I like how the film addresses that issue. I also really like the performances themselves. I think Bella Thorne did a fantastic job in portraying Ariel's character. We see Ariel is miserable with her life and she doesn't like her mother's new boyfriend, she doesn't like her mother, and she's okay with her friends but she starts falling out with them. And then when she discovers that she could become famous by filming herself Robbie Banks is when she becomes much happier but at the same time she has to escape from the law because of her misdeeds. And I like how Bella Thorne is able to portray this really edgy and angsty character which is very different from the character she portrays in the Babysitter franchise as being this bubbly cheerleader character who wants to kill people so technically speaking she's playing the same character except this character is just Robbie Banks instead of killing people. I also really like Ariel and Dean's relationship with each other because even though they spend most of the movie Robbie Banks in stores it's clear that they truly care about each other and they're willing to do whatever it takes to save each other so I do like that part of their relationship even though it's a bit twisted because again they're still Robbie Banks in stores while they're on the run from the law. Now if there was an issue that I had with this film was that the characters made a lot of dumb decisions. I mean it's common sense to know that if you were to record your criminal activities and put it on social media the cops would eventually find you and that's what's going on in this film is that because Ariel and Dean are recording themselves robbing the banks the cops are immediately on to them and they're trying to capture them. So it makes me wonder why would Ariel decide to put her life in a line just to become famous? And the movie doesn't really do a good job of explaining that factor. Like I'm still having trouble trying to understand why Ariel want to do all this. Like why is she willing to put her life in a line just to become famous? And then the fact that she suddenly wants to become famous just came out of nowhere in this film. Like it wasn't really mentioned in the first half of the film that she wanted to become famous. It was just more like she just wanted to leave her hometown. So the fact that she suddenly wants to become famous by Robbie Banks just seemed to come out of nowhere for me and the film didn't really do a good job in explaining that factor to me. And so I just kind of find myself being a bit confused by Ariel's motives throughout this film about why she wanted Rob Banks instead of doing something else to get famous. But overall I give Infamous a watch it. Sure, the characters make a lot of dumb decisions and I don't really understand Ariel's motive for becoming famous by Robbie Banks because the film didn't really explain it that well. But I did find this film to be pretty entertaining and intense and I was actually sitting on the edge of my seat seeing if Ariel and Dean would actually get caught by the law eventually. So if you're a huge fan of Bonnie and Clyde, you might enjoy this movie for a more updated version of what Bonnie and Clyde would be like if they had social media. So that's my review of Infamous and tell me in the comments down below, have you seen Infamous? And if you have, did you like the movie? Did you hate the movie? And what was your favorite movie that features an outlaw couple? Please feel free to tell me in the comments down below. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. This is Rabdius Blog, and I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, like this video? Then please feel free to hit that like button. And also, hit that subscribe button for more content about video games, movies, and TV shows from this channel. And now, let's roll the credits, please.